Hey, hey, welcome back to Free Software Tips. So today I'll be providing my own review with the app cloud cloud hosting provider, and uh, I'm going to make a comparison with my previous provider, Vulter. So if you're just new on this channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and bell notification to get updated with the latest tips and tricks on this channel. So without further ado, let's get started. For this review, I'll be highlighting the pricing, performance, and the features that are available on this particular provider. So I have here on my website, the, uh, as for the pricing, their fixed plans are just like basically of the same amount except that AppCloud's cheapest plan is only around $5 while the Vulture, you can grab up to the $3.5 per month and uh, however for the AppCloud, you'll be able to get higher plans and i have put here with regards to the Vulture price that it's unavailable because during the time when i am creating that particular review on my website those bare metals and dedicated clouds are unavailable or they are sold out wherein on the app cloud you could basically deploy any server of uh, any size anytime that's one big point or a big plus factor which i think app cloud wins over Vulture. also another thing that i think should be highlighted between these two providers is the ability to provide a flexible plan which i think is very convenient especially for those types of services that needs customization for the app cloud you'll be able to select depending on your needs however typically choosing this flexible plan would also cost more compared to the simple fixed plans however again this is very important especially for those kinds of services th that require a different specification and uh, you could uh, actually tweak it depending on your needs and yeah basically configure your own server and also for the location of the servers for the app cloud you can uh, deploy on germany finland netherlands singapore uk usa for Vulture, you can deploy in japan singapore netherlands france germany uk united states and canada australia and south korea also take note if you are going to use the Vulture high frequency plan some uh, countries are not supported such as the south korea and uh, their plans are quite limited for the server size if you're going to use the high frequency plan you're limited to around uh, depending on the location that you have selected for example on singapore you're only limited to around uh, the 12 dollars per month wherein compared to united states you could deploy up to around the 48 dollars per month with three cpu cores and eight gigs of memory while for the app cloud you could deploy basically any size of that particular server anywhere on their data centers so i think that's another plus points for app cloud since you could deploy any size of these servers depending on no matter where is the location as for the storage both providers use ssds however app cloud claims that their max iops based on their benchmarks and actually based on benchmarks performed by other third-party companies also proves that their ssd performance are able to provide faster input and output operations per second and what's another good thing with the app cloud that i think is another plus points for me is that you could add a hdd you might think oh, what's the difference with that one why not just use the ssd over hdd or hard drive so typically the ssd as you know it would often cost more than the hdd per gigs so as you can see if you're going to add a 10 gigabytes of max iops you get 12 dollars 0.23 monthly while if you add a hdd with 10 gigs of storage you get only 10.56 that's that's around only 0.56 per 10 gigabytes of storage so you might think what is the purpose of uh, having hard drives added to your um, servers so personally i use this hdd for backup purposes and to store files that are not frequently used just for again for backup purposes so it's very crucial to have a uh, high disk space while also maintaining the cost effectiveness of your server setup. So even if you put around 100 gigs of HDD storage, you only pay around $15.62 monthly. So that's a big factor for me with regards to the app cloud. 
so for the operating system you get the same um, features they both have this uh, ready ISOs operating systems which you could actually install by just changing the version right here and you could already attach and force that to automatically install on your system you could also put some custom images and a CD room if you prefer to uh, install manually and it will insert the DVD installation file or ISO upon the first boot up of your server. Similarly on Volter, they both have that kind of feature. Then for the IPv6 support, that's pretty basic. They both support that one SSH and uh, and uh, looking up the newly created server which we has just created a while ago. This is the kind of interface that you might uh, that you will actually be shown with upon the initial creation of your server so what can you do with this one basically um, you could uh, shut down your server right here and you could also force shut down your server restart it and uh, you could also resize your server right here and put tags to have better labeling between your servers if you have quite a bunch and you could also see here these network statistics usage on your server and uh, you could also enable the metadata service so let's go to the console in order to establish a remote connection you must click this open the console connection especially if you're just setting up the server for the first time it will remotely connect you to uh, your server and as you can see we have here the um, setup loaded up and it's quite pretty laggy since my internet connection right now is quite pretty terrible yes as you can see with that one that's why it's so laggy because my current internet service providers <laughs> quite terrible anyway um you don't actually experience this kind of um, delay or lag if your um, network is okay and uh, basically you could just configure your um, server and control it remotely using this um, remote connection right here and uh, that's pretty basic so let's go to the resize um, feature of AppCloud so what you can do with this one is that you could upgrade or downgrade your server however you need to shut it down before you could do so so let's try and shut it shut it down also when shutting down your server you could uh, set this um, um kind of uh, notice what kind of um things are you doing on your server and just simply hit the shut down button and it will go ahead and shut down your server so now that the server is now fully stopped and shut down we can now go ahead and resize our server but as you can see we could actually downgrade our server right here from ten dollars to the five dollars per month However, as you can see that um, our new bill will be at around $21.78 per month. And that's the reason of that one is that we cannot downsize our um, disk once we uh, upgraded it due to um, since if we're going to downgrade or if they would allow that one, it could possibly result to data loss. So what you have to do if you are just setting it up for the first time you'll have to delete the um, disk as you can see the disk is now deleted you'll have to add a new device depending on your plan so you must add depending on your plan so let's add 25 gigs since it's included on the five dollars and now that is created as you can see it's now uh, right here and uh, you're able to successfully downgrade your um, server However, if you have already an existing server and you would have to downgrade, you'll have to manually transfer the files on your server to a new drive just by creating another drive a while ago, which I've shown you how, and then transfer those files on that particular new drive or the smaller drive, and then you'll have to delete the old drive on your um, storage right here and you'll be able to downgrade your system as with regards to the upgrading your server it's pretty basic and it's pretty simple you just have to change the plans right here and choose them accordingly or if you're using the flexible plan you could adjust the cores and memory on your system so again that's how pretty basic it is and uh, we are able to delete the drive since we haven't installed anything first 
However, if you really are on a working environment or a live production uh, server, you can uh, just uh, delete the uh, drive since you'll be uh, you'll be losing all the files on that particular drive. So what I would uh, suggest is that increase your server plan only when needed. So once done, you simply hit the save changes and it will adjust your new monthly cost. And also it has a backups um, feature similarly with the Volter, you also have um, you also get this kind of backup feature. So once you have your instance right here, you simply open it up and uh, you, you can go ahead and go to the backups right here and you could enable the backups on your server. You could also add a uh, network right here. That's pretty basic firewall. You, uh, I actually don't use this firewall service but that's basically it the um, overview of your app cloud um, of the app cloud service before we i end this video the uh, best thing with regards to app cloud is that it has a, a live chat feature and support compared to the volter which you can only reach the support by creating a uh, ticket so uh, that's i think that's a very crucial feature and um, service which Vulture lacks and also other um, cloud hosting provider lacks is the actual customer support which you could call or um, talk to anytime you have any issues with regards to your cloud hosting. I think overall I would recommend AppCloud and I think it deserves recognition. A lot of um, people are already discovering AppCloud. Even me when I have discovered this service, I personally transferred and yeah, I am so far satisfied with their service. If you want to try AppCloud, you could go ahead and try signing up with my link down below or this link on this video and you'll be able to get a $50 free credit. So thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, don't forget to leave your comments and feedbacks down below. And also like this video for more helpful tips. Till then, see you again in my next videos.